25 best PSP RPGs. Number 25 Justice League Heroes Snowblind Studios use of the Justice League property with all of its iconic characters and even those lesser known swords is absolutely astounding in this solid, well executed role playing game that does justice to the league while also presenting a compelling game and an implausible if not gripping story. Still receiving vision. Number 24, Dungeon Siege, Throne of Agony. You choose one of the three heroes on offer to take on the Black Druid in 2006 RPG from Superfluent Studios. Leveling as you go, your hero can also take on a companion to help with the combat. Focused on story and an immersive environment, Throne of Agony is a worthy successor to the modern classic Dungeon Siege 2. Number 23, Shin Megami Tensei, Persona 2, Innocent Sin. Fans of the Persona series will find a lot to love in Innocent Sin, a game that continues the traditional battle system seen in others of this genre, but which involves a storyline that is unique and compelling. There's a lot of grinding, but it is all worth it to see the resolution of the central mystery that is central to the game. Number 22, Star Ocean Second Evolution. Classic JRPG action and a storyline that is good but complicated for someone who knows nothing about the series. Second Evolution is a game that shows just how serious the PSP was about bringing mainland experiences over to the portable. A great, if grindy, JRPG that remains compelling because it of its solid mechanics. Number 21, Star Ocean First Departure. Working as an introduction to the fast Star Ocean universe, this enhanced version on PSP maintains the feel of the classic game while giving it a fresh coat of paint. A solid game from beginning to end, the first Star Ocean is also a study in a streamlined narrative and gameplay. <laughs> Number 20, Brave Story, New Traveler. It begins with Tatsuya playing a PSP, so much so so he doesn't even notice Mickey's collapse beside him, and ends with the typical JRPG fare you would expect from a good manga or anime. The gameplay is party based and traditional, but encourages you play failure with the epilogue feature that allows access to the full game roster of characters at any time. Number 19, Cladoon X2, a hack and slash epic with randomly generated dungeons and a leveling and class system. What more could you want? With Cladoon X2, not much more as it is one of the best games ever made on the PSP for fans of action pack RPGs. Number 18, Shin Megami Tensei Persona. If you've never played a Shin Megami Tensei game before, Persona might the place to start. There's little to complain about with this game other than the fact that it is starting to show some signs of age, but aside from that, the story is really awesome and the gameplay never presents a barrier to the enjoyment of that. Number 17, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Utilizing turn based combat on a grid system, Trails in the Sky is one of the most evocative of a tactical JRPGs. The battle system is accessible but also incredibly deep, 
which makes it ideal for people who both want to enjoy the story and those who want to squeeze out every last drop of fun from the game. Number 16, Crimson Gem Saga A traditional turn-based RPG with a unique ambush system that is based upon how a player encounters a monster tile. Crimson Gem Saga doesn't do a lot to change up the JRPG formula, but absolutely knocks it out of the park when it comes to the quality of writing. <laughs> you should have retreated! Number 15, Gladden. This is an RPG. The game is more about exploring and fighting than it is story that is introduced. That said, Gladden has some of the most addictive gameplay you'll ever find in an action RPG. Ideal for a pick up and play for a long gaming session, Gladden is perfect for gamers that need something substantial for a handheld. Number 14, Yeast, The Oath in Felgana. The Yeast series swings back and forth between being heavy on stats or heavy on equipment management, but this game actually does a good job of preferencing action above all else. If you want an epic story with some pure action RPG gaming, this game largely strips away the tedious part of a JRPG and presents a nice experience instead. Number 13, Gurumin, a monstrous adventure. This is a 3D action RPG with real-time combat. That means movement and attacks are all happening simultaneously and this makes Gurumin both different and challenging. Aside from the amazing graphical presentation and tight gameplay mechanics, Gurumin's compelling fairy tale-like story stands out among a sea of high school sagas and epics. Number 12, Valkyrie Profile Planet. Aside from its beautiful graphics and awesome story, the mechanics at work in Valkyrie Profile Planet are reminiscent of the best JRPGs on classic systems like the SNES. With 24 playable characters, Planet is never going to be short on content, especially considering that some of those are only obtainable through the very difficult mode of the game. Number 11, Lunar Silver Star Harmony. A classic from the era of the Sega CD, Lunar Silver Star Harmony is a remake of the original title and retains a lot of its classic trappings. A charming tale buoyed by gameplay that is hard to dislike, Lunar's remake is worth having on the PSP. Number 10, Yeast 7. Rather than use the strict elemental system of games past where certain element types determine what could hurt or not hurt certain monsters, Yeast 7's much more flexible maximum and minimum damage system make the action crisp and quick. The saga of Edel and Dogi might not be for everyone, but this gameplay is hard to dislike. Number 9, ZHP Unlosing Ranger vs Dark Death Evil Man. As the synopsis probably reveals, there's a lot going on here and not all of it makes sense. For one, the story is out there but the gameplay is centered around one guy exploring dungeons that are generated at random, somewhat like a roguelike but without all of the pressure attendant to that genre. The best he can? We should pat him on the head at least. Number 8, Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7. Without a question, the single best spin up game in the FF7 universe do not get a release outside of its primary system. Crisis Core is a must play title for fans of FF7 and a great game otherwise. It not only has a unique roulette system battle mechanic, 
but it's also the beginning of the more action oriented 3D combat. Number 7 Marvel Ultimate Alliance The great RPG in that it makes each and every playable character feel unique and different. Ultimate Alliance also rocks a really cool story that seems like it was ripped directly from the pages of the comics themselves. Definitely play this one. I was hoping to catch someone being a hero. Looks like I hit the jackpot! Number 6. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite The Monster Hunter series is like an action hack and slash RPG for gamers that love to take down huge enemies but don't need a lot of reason to do so. Like the name implies, you hunt monsters and that doesn't require an epic narrative. Expect to lose hours of your life on this PSP title. Number 5. Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep It is hard to fault anything in the Kingdom Hearts series and this is the case with Birth by Sleep. More like death by lack of sleep, from its charming and inviting story to its absolutely addictive gameplay mechanics, this action RPG really shows you how Square does great things when they break away from the Final Fantasy formula. Number 4. X-Men Legends 2 Rise of Apocalypse Again, what makes this game so fun is that each mutant or character feels so unique from one another that the mixing and matching of party members becomes as much fun as the game itself. Probably one of the better X-Men stories to be written, Rise of Apocalypse features the unique conceit of uniting enemies with good guys. Number 3. Tales of Eternia Gameplay trumps all things in this title and it is the charm of Tales of Eternia. Do not come here expecting fancy graphics, but you will find an addictive, if sometimes opaque, RPG mechanical system running it all. Overall, one of the best RPGs for the PSP. You can't beat me. Number 2. Half Minute Hero If you like quick action and strategy, Half Minute Hero is your deal. An indie sensation that has grown into a full series on its own merits, Half Minute Hero is about classic turn-based action and presentation and it is a charm that does not wear thin. Number 1. Shin Megami Tensei Persona 3 Portable Persona thrives off of a combination of classic RPG mechanics and deep involved stories. That's definitely what we get in Persona 3, a game for the ages and a touchstone for many fans of the series. Definitely the best PSP RPG of all time. Man clings to a dim hope. Yes, the Arcana is the means by which all is revealed. And what exactly does this have to do with me?